My loving people, we have been persuaded by some that are careful of our safety to take heed how we might commit ourselves to armed multitudes for fear of treachery. But I assure you, I do not desire to live to distress my faithful and loving people. Let tyrants fear. I have always so behaved myself that under God, I have placed my chiefest strength and safeguard in the loyal hearts and good will of my subjects. And therefore, I am come amongst you at this time, not as for my recreation or sport, but being resolved in the midst and heat of the battle to live or die amongst you all, to lay down for my God and for my kingdom and for my people my honor and my blood, even the dust. I know I have but the body of a weak and feeble woman, but I have the heart of a king, and of a king of England too. And think foul scorn that Parma or Spain, or any prince of Europe, should dare to invade the borders of my realms, to which rather than dishonor should grow by me, I myself will take up arms." I myself will be your general, judge, and rewarder of every one of your virtues in the field. I know already, by your forwardness, that you have deserved rewards and crowns, and we do assure you, on the word of a prince, they shall be duly paid to you. In the mean, my lieutenant general shall be in my stead, than whom never prince commanded a more noble and worthy subject not doubting by your obedience to my general, by your accord in the camp, and by your valor in the field, we shall shortly have a famous victory over the enemies of my God, of my kingdom, and of my people.